Now let's get to the elephant in the room, Bernie Sanders. So now I'm sure this is the question you get most often by far. Uh, but people will say, well, Bernie Sanders is incredibly progressive, so why do we need the Green Party when we have a real progressive in the race? Because unfortunately, the Democratic Party has this thing called a kill switch, which they, you know, which they created after a peace candidate, uh, George McGovern, won the nomination back in 1972. Mm -hmm. And the Democratic Party didn't want that to happen again, so they changed a few things around. One is that they have these things called Super Tuesday, which you need a whole lot of corporate money in order to survive, run simultaneously uh, TV ads all over the place. And, you, um, and then you have the superdelegates, which basically allow party insiders to control the margin of error uh, and the unpredictability in the, uh, in the actual uh, nominating convention. And Hillary and Bill are very busy scooping up those uh, those uh, delegates, which control about 20% of the vote, and so, but that's the argument that's they their used to say that Obama couldn't beat Hillary Clinton, but he did. Well, so, he beat Hillary Clinton because he had the banks behind him. I don't think Bernie's going to get that. Bernie is not going to get that kind of corporate money because he's not going to sell his soul the way that Barack Obama did. So he's very unlikely. Do you think Barack Obama was a corporate candidate? Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt about it. I mean, look what he did when he came to office. You know, uh, the first thing he did was bail out Wall Street. You know, when the public was demanding otherwise and his base was demanding otherwise, you know, he showed who his true masters are. So, you know, I don't think Bernie's going to do that. Bernie doesn't have the money. I don't think he's going to have the money. Well, he's got and, 44 million. Uh, that's that was the number he raised. Right, and Hillary's recently. going for two billion. You know, so yeah. she's she's well out ahead, and you know that the party is already you know pushing back on him in a very big way. You know, and you can look at how their debates get staged and the kinds of questions that get asked and so on. You know, he's being made to look like mm, maybe he's bidding for the vice presidential position or something. Mm -hmm. I wish him all the power in the world, but he's not the first candidate with integrity to challenge inside the Democratic Party. You can look at Dennis Kucinich, who basically got wiped out from the debates, and then he got redistricted by the party. You could look at, um, you know, Al Sharpton or Dean, Howard Dean, and the Dean scream. Because then the DNC, you know, if they don't like what you're doing, they will run a PR campaign against you. And they did it with the Dean scream. They wiped him out when he looked like he was going to be a threat with some you know, absolutely outrageous campaign that had nothing to do with him, or Jesse Jackson, who got wiped out for being you know, a, um, an anti-Semite uh, because he wasn't pro-Israel enough. You know, that was a completely concocted campaign because he was a threat to the game plan of the DNC. So the DNC is not going to turn around and love Bernie, um, in spite of however you know, fabulous he may be doing, he's going to be pushed back against. So he's very unlikely. He's not the first great Democratic candidate to raise these issues. And while these rebels make a valiant stand inside the Democratic Party, the party keeps marching to the right over the decades.